Now, a Target 12 investigator's exclusive sniffing out cybercrime. The Rhode Island State Police have a new tool in combating the most heinous crimes when pedophiles use storage devices like hard drives to store child pornography. This canine can find them in bags under floorboards and even in the woods. And data shows Rhode Island has a higher percentage of federal child pornography criminal cases than the national average. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor joins us now with the exclusive details. Some police canines can find drugs or even bombs, but Bertie's skill set is different, zeroing in on trace amounts of a chemical compound, ultimately helping detectives lock up child predators. Seek. Seek. When Bertie smells it, her butt goes down and her head pops up, signaling to her handler, Rhode Island State Police Detective Brent Wilkes, that she's found something. Good girl! Good girl, Bird. After extensive training, Birdie knows she gets a treat whenever she finds hidden technology like tablets, hard drives, or in this case... Is your phone? My cell phone. She's a, a regular dog day to day until it's time to go to work, and then she knows what her mission is. What she smells is TPPO, a chemical compound found on all electronic storage devices. Come on, Bird. After Wilkes and other members of the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force search the home of a suspected child predator in Rhode Island, Birdie will come in and do a follow-up search for anything that we may have missed. Or if we have a suspect saying that you know, they lost their phone, we'll, we'll find it for you. Even things like this thumb drive. Hup, hupsy. Hidden in unusual locations. Good girl, Bird. We could find things that are as small as a micro SD card that's the size of your thumbnail. Bird, show me. Show me where it is. Good girl. Right now, Birdie's the only canine in the state with this special skill set. And unfortunately, she'll be plenty busy. Wilkes says the task force receives more than 1,200 tips about child exploitation each year. We execute uh, numerous search warrants, uh, between two and three every week. In the task force's Warwick office, clumps of red dominate a Rhode Island map, painting a grim picture. And the red pushpins indicate uh, places where we've made arrests regarding uh, child exploitation. A Target 12 review of local child pornography cases in Rhode Island shows 38 defendants have been convicted in federal cases since 2019. U.S. Sentencing Commission data shows Rhode Island has a higher rate of child pornography cases than in most other states. I think it certainly is a testament to the aggressive and effective law enforcement response that we have here in the Ocean State. Earlier this year, Rhode Island U.S. Attorney Zachary Cunha called the work the task force does superb. They're hard cases, but they're important cases to do. Wilkes agrees and points out that Birdie will be available to help more than just the state police. You know, the state police is available, as always, to assist local and federal authorities in any of their investigations. Today marks two months since Birdie first joined the task force. Coming up at six, how a dog like Birdie played a crucial role in a high profile criminal case that gained national attention. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.